and welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, Proverbs chapter 13. A wise son heeds his father's instruction, but a mocker does not listen to rebuke. We are the children of our Heavenly Father. If we listen to his instruction, all will go well. The mockers, they're out there forgetting, rebelling against God's laws, his instructions. They may look to be prospering right now, but you watch closely and over time, they will not. But those who trust God, they will prosper. From the fruit of his lips, a man enjoys a good things, but the unfaithful have a craving for violence. He who guards his lips guards his life, but he who speaks rashly will come to ruin. The sluggard craves and gets nothing, but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied. I've experienced this in prison. The sluggards, the inmates, lying on their bunks, okay? They crave this, they crave that, they want this, okay? They got lots of fantasies, but they get nothing. While those who are diligent on the outside, who work, take responsibility for their lives, support themselves, well, their desires are fully satisfied. God will bring us the righteous, the fulfillment of our desires. The righteous hate what is false. The wicked bring shame and disgrace. Righteousness guards the man of integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. Over and over again, this ministry has seen the wicked being overthrown I do not understand why inmates refuse to change their lives and to accept the wonderful life that God offers. But it's just not inmates, even those on the outside, free people. People going to church, they're not free on the inside. They're still slaves to sin. They need to give their lives to Jesus so that God can set them free. One man pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. There are people of fame. Some pretend to be more famous than others and put on a big show, but over time we find out that they squandered their money and are poor. They have nothing. But there are those that have wealth who pretend not to have it. They keep their wealth. They use it wisely. And nobody knows. A rich man's riches may ransom his life, but a poor man hears no threat. If you have no money, no one's going to threaten you. You've got nothing to steal. But those with riches, yeah, they've got to hire security guards and take all kinds of precautions because people are always trying to take from the rich. Be thankful for the little that we have. The light of the righteous shines brightly, but the lamp of the wicked is snuffed out. Pride only breeds quarrels, but wisdom is found in those who take advice. Dishonest money dwindles away. A lot of inmates steal, uh, do everything they can to rob, burglarize. They get things, but their money, their things dwindles away, and they have to keep going out and breaking the law. But he who gathers money little by little makes it grow. In other words, get a job, 
Build your money. Stop spending it. Put it away, little by little. Watch it grow. Then when you need something, when there's really something that's necessary, you have the money for it. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. He who scorns instruction will pay for it, but he who respects a command is rewarded. The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life, turning a man from the snares of death. Good understanding wins favor, but the way of the unfaithful is hard. Every prudent man acts out of knowledge, but a fool exposes his folly. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy brings healing. He who ignores discipline comes to poverty and shame, but whoever heeds correction is honored. A longing fulfilled is sweet to the soul. But fools detest turning from evil. He who walks with the wise grows wise, but a companion of fools suffers harm. Misfortune pursues the sinner, but prosperity is the reward of the righteous. A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children, but a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. I've seen that. I have seen that. The wicked storing up their wealth, they lose it all. A poor man's field may produce abundant food, but injustice sweeps it away. He who spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is careful to discipline him. Disciplining is not necessarily punishment. Disciplining is teaching wisdom, helping our children to understand how to live appropriately. The righteous eat to their heart's content, but the stomach of the wicked goes hungry. We have a God who has promised that the righteous will never lack bread. I have experienced that in my life. God has blessed as I live in obedience to his commands he has blessed me tremendously, even though I have nothing. Life is wonderful when we just live obediently, live a simple life. Don't be looking at the world, craving what it has to offer. It's a trap. And when you get caught in it, terrible things happen. Let us give our hearts to Jesus. Let us be obedient to him. Be thankful for what we have and watch our lives become blessed. Thank you for joining me and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.